Okay, today we're going to cover um, how to properly set up your three-point hitch arms in center link uh, John Deere. Uh, I see a lot of people that get these arms or uh, and or link and they will have this um, you know off the machine for a while and either it changes owners or um, you just have no use for it and you go to put it on and you really have no idea uh, where to start and how to put things on properly. So this is going to take you through um, you know what I would do if I had this machine and I wanted to get this set up with the three point hitch arms in the uh, center link. Um, so the, the biggest thing on these is that um, you know, you, you want to make sure that the arms are on the right side, obviously. You'll see that the arm will have um, a bend towards the outer part of the machine when it's on the right side. That's an easy way to figure that out. Um, the, the other big thing on these is that the pins, when you put these pins on, uh, you want to have the flat side of the pin against the actual implement side of the attachment. So, um, or I should say, the pin should be on uh, the side that touches the attachment. Um, you know rods or the or the arms so a lot of people you'll see these on backwards and what happens is the pin just does not want to come out or uh it'll bend it'll bend the pin once you put weight on it so there's there's a couple there's one on the bottom on each side one on the top uh so those are those are kind of key to get those on right and this this part here the center link there's a holder for it um, most people don't have a clue what it's for when there's no center link in there and they think it's just a, a hook for a hose. But that's really your, your holder for the center link so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't get caught up in anything as you're, as you're operating the machine when there's nothing on it. Um, so you want to make sure that's, <clears throat> that's kind of there so you can, you can leverage that. Uh, some other things you want to make sure is that um, there's some adjustments down here on these braces or these brackets that go off to the side. Uh, that's not the correct name for them, I know that, but um, there, there is a way to adjust all this so it's all at the same height. And, and of course, what you're going for here is that your two arms end up at the same height, you know, within maybe a, a quarter inch or so. And then you can, you can adjust all this with these adjusters. This here is a quick adjustment uh, you can use when there's an attachment on there. Um, this one here, a little more work. I don't know if that's actually adjustable unless you pull off the pull off the, um, the link, right? And you gotta adjust this by hand. And these all have grease fittings too, by the way. One other thing that people don't realize is that you kinda wanna keep these greased because once the fitting gets dry, um, you know, you're just gonna be basically uh, left with metal on metal, right? There's no grease in there to, to help when you go up and down with the, with the weight. Not a big deal when there's nothing on there, obviously, but you put a bush hog on it that weighs a couple thousand pounds or 1,500 pounds, or a thousand pounds worth of these things weigh, and um, obviously it's gonna it's gonna wear out the fittings. All right, so that's that's pretty much what it looks like, um, and this is on a John Deere forty two ten, uh, which is a pretty common machine, and I think all the four thousand series and three thousand series machines, um, the three point hitch would look something like this if set up properly. Okay, hope this helps.